Hi, my name is Matt Crowley, and I am a product specialist here at Atlas Copco. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the socket configurator, and more specifically, how to configure a solution in this specific platform. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in and see how it works. In this video, as we wish to focus on the solutions section of the product configurator, the first thing we need to do to access the solutions is sign in, and we are going to simply sign in by clicking Authenticate via AD. After a few moments, it will sign us in, and we are brought to the main landing page of the product configurator. We can now see at the top center of our screen, we have the option for solutions. This is where we, are, we will access the solutions tab by clicking on it. And we can see that once we are on this overview slide here, in the center of the screen, we have all of the solutions that we have created that are assigned to us. And on the left-hand side of our screen, we have the option to sort and filter for solutions based on a few different fields. So if I wanted to look for a solution in Axle, for example, I can simply come over, type Axle, and you can see it eliminates all other solutions except for those named Axle. This is going to be super beneficial and fantastic in the event that you have maybe 50 solutions here. So instead of scrolling through them, you can just simply search for the name of the solution you're looking for, and it'll auto-populate. If you wanted to create a new solution, the first thing you need to do is go back to Opportunities, so we're going up a level. Go ahead and select the opportunity you wanted to create the solution in. And once you are in the opportunity, you can see here there is a tab to Create Solution. Clicking this will bring us to a window to create a new solution for this opportunity. So we're going to click this. We can name the solution. select Create, and now we can see we are brought to the main overview page of this specific solution. From here, we can see the solution pricing if we have things configured. We can also see some other details such as the name of the opportunity it's tied to and the CPQ ID, which is useful for the design team in case they have any questions on this solution. And then we can see in the center of the screen we have the option to add product, and this is where we will end up going eventually to add a new product to our solution. A few other things we want to point out here is in this section, we can also go to Proposal, and we can create a new proposal, and this will be a generic PDF or Word document with just some high-level overview information of the products we've configured for this solution. We can also come to Other Documents, and we can create a solution technical summary if we wish to create that. Once again, it'll be an auto-generated and auto-populated document for us to reference. And then lastly, we have approvals here where you can view any custom requests and approvals you have currently in the system for this solution, and you can see their status here. So that concludes the video on looking at the solutions section of our product configurator. That concludes today's video on the socket configurator solutions. If you have any other questions, reach out to your local Atlas Copco representative, and thank you for watching.